you can use Project Site Daily Reports to track weather, labor, equipment use, and to add notes and links to the daily record. You can configure the Daily Reports utility to automatically record daily weather based on your location, set up crews to quickly add multiple workers to the labor report, and automatically assign an approver. Finally, since crews and equipment may be similar from day to day, you're able to copy labor and equipment values from one day to another and then modify the information as needed. To access daily reports from your project dashboard, click on the Field Management tab in the left panel. There are two options for accessing daily reports. Click on the Today icon in the Daily Reports tab to open or see the current day's report or click on the View All link to see all of the daily reports on the project. Clicking on View All will open the Daily Reports main page, displaying all of the daily reports on your project. You can sort and group your daily reports as you wish, and if that organization appeals to you, you can make it a default. Use the Search and Filter panel to find and display only the daily reports that you want to see. To open a daily report, click on its tile or line. Clicking on a daily report will open to its main page, where the first thing to notice is that the record is locked and cannot be edited because it has been approved. Additional information and summaries are shown in the right panel as well as any assignments or courtesy copies. On the main screen, you'll see the four report panels, Weather, Labor, Equipment, and Notes. To open any panel and view its details, click on the expansion arrow. There are two ways to begin creating a new daily report. First, from the Field Management main menu, you can click on the Today icon in the Daily Reports tile. This will open up a daily report for the current date. Also, from the Daily Reports main page, you can click the plus button in the upper right, which will open a calendar window where you can select a date and click OK. This second method is best for creating daily reports for past dates. The new daily report screen will open with four report panels, weather, labor, equipment, and notes. To begin entries with weather, click on the edit icon in the weather field. The edit add weather window will open where if configured, automatic entries will be recorded at prescribed intervals. If not, or to add a unique entry, click on the add button. The time will default to the current time, but you can edit this in all other entry fields. You can add a note to clarify if necessary, and when you have made your entries, click Done. Next, you can make entries in the Labor section of the report. There are three possible levels of tracking labor in Project Site. Basic one is where you select the crew enter the number of workers, and enter the hours or days. Basic 2 is where you simply select the crew and enter the hours or days. Detailed tracking involves entering individual workers, their classification, their trade, selecting a budget code if necessary, and entering the start and stop times or hours and break time. The level of labor tracking is configured by your administrator in project settings. The example shown in this lesson uses the detailed labor tracking level. No matter what tracking level is configured, there are two ways to make labor entries in project site. You can copy labor entries from a previous day. We'll show you how to do this in a moment and you can make a new entry. To make a new labor entry, click on the plus button in the labor panel. This will open up the add labor window with multiple fields to input information. 
Note that fields with asterisks are mandatory. The company field will default, but you can select another company. If there are crews set up for the company, you can select a crew and the window will fill with the workers and their default information. The unit of measure will default to hours, but there are other options. Click Add Worker to enter the worker's name. Select the classification and the trade. Both are mandatory fields. Click the budget code search icon if you want to add a budget code. The hours can be configured to default to eight, but you can enter the hours for each worker and any break time. An alternative configuration allows you to enter the start and stop times for each employee and the hours will auto calculate. Continue to add employees and time to the report as necessary. You can specify a location from the drop down if that's important, and you can make a text entry in the work description field. If you have the role in permissions to do so, you can change the status to approved. Although, as you can see in this case, there is a default approver assigned. After reviewing your selections and entries, click Done to record the labor in the daily report. The other way to make labor entries in the daily report is to copy them from a previous day. This can be time saving when workers, crews, and activities are similar from day to day. Click on the copy icon in the right of the labor panel. This will open the copy labor window where you can select a date from which to copy. The labor values for that day will load with workers, crews, and time displayed in the right of the grid. Use the tick boxes to select the labor values to be copied from that day. When you have reviewed your selections, click Done. Note that the values can be edited after copying. You can now see the labor entry in the daily report. However, notice that the totals in the header do not yet reflect the entries. Why? Because the entries have not been approved. For someone with the correct permissions, this can be done in two ways. The approver can use the edit icon to open the labor window and change its status to approved. Or, much more simply, click on the check mark icon in the side of the panel. A confirmation window will open where you can click approve to immediately approve the labor values. Note that this will not affect the status of the daily report, just the labor entries. Next, to add equipment usage to the daily report, click on the edit icon on the right of the equipment panel. This will open the add edit equipment window with mandatory fields marked with asterisks. Click on the blue add equipment plus sign, which will add a new equipment line. Select a piece of equipment from the searchable drop-down, then enter a quantity and usage hours. Select a company, and if the crew or location is important, you can select it here. Add any notes if appropriate. Continue adding equipment lines as necessary. After reviewing your entries and selections, click Done to make the equipment entry. Note that if the designated equipment has a rate set up in Project Site, that value will automatically be entered on the equipment line. Also, you can copy equipment values from previous days using the same steps demonstrated in the Labor section. The equipment values will be added to the daily report. 
Unlike labor entries, there is no approval necessary for equipment, so the total summary values immediately appear in the header. The final section of the daily report allows for notes, attachments, and links to be added to the record. First, notice that OneNote has already been added automatically. This is the default assignment of the reviewer and approver. You can add a note by typing in the entry field. Click the link icon to add an attachment or link to the comment. The add link window will open where you can select the type of item that you want to link. In this case, you will upload image files of progress photos, but you can link almost any project site item into the note, drawings, issues, RFIs, etc. Drag and drop the files into the upload window. Be sure to post the note. You can now see the comment with attachments that have been added to the record. Additional comments can be added using the plus button in the upper right of the comments panel. You may want to update the status of the daily report, and if you have made any changes, click the save icon and or done to update the record and return to the daily report's main page.